Hi friends, I hope you are doing well and staying well during this time. I hope you are finding ways to be creative and playful. And if you have not, then you have come to the right place. My name is Nicole and I miss you all very, very much. And I wish that I could be coming into your schools, but right now we are here to be safe and find new ways that we can be creative at home. Before we begin today's video, I would like to thank our PNC sponsor for making this easy and accessible, coming to you right from the comfort of your own home. So boys and girls, today I am excited to be bringing you another story. And it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of people's favorite book. And uh, I'm very excited to be bringing you Biscuit. Now, before we begin, I would like to talk a little bit about what Biscuit is and what you can expect from this video. So, Biscuit is about a story about Biscuit the dog who is very playful and fun and has a ton of energy. So what boys and girls, what we're going to do for our story for Biscuit is we're going to listen and we're going to put our thinking caps on when we listen so we can pay attention to things we are going to do. After we read our story, as always, we're going to do a guided activity together, which I'm really excited about this one. So I hope you can stay tuned. And then at the very end, of course, we have an explanation of our worksheet that will be attached to this video if you're watching right now. So it's something that you can do at home with your family, your friends, whoever you're staying with right now to make this a little bit more fun and easy. So boys and girls, I am very excited to present to you Biscuit. This is Biscuit. Biscuit is small. Biscuit is yellow. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants to play. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants a snack. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants a drink. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants to hear a story. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants his blanket. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants his doll. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants a hug. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants a kiss. Ah. Time for bed, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants a light on. Woof. Biscuit wants to be tucked in. Woof. Biscuit wants one more kiss. Woof. Biscuit wants one more hug. Woof! Biscuit wants to curl up. Sleepy puppy. Good night, Biscuit. The end. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the reading of Biscuit. It is one of my favorite books to read. It was when I was your age, and many of my friends still love this book to this day. So what did we learn about Biscuit? Biscuit is a very playful puppy, right? And he likes to explore, and he always wants to do more things with his energy. And that's why he's so playful, right? So what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to do a couple of things in this activity, and I'm very excited about this guided activity where you can simply follow along, you can ask your family members to join if you'd like as well, but all you need to do right now is take a deep breath. <sighs> very nice. And we're going to think a little bit like Biscuit would think. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to listen to some directions from me first. 
So what I'd like you to do is pause this video after I say the following two things. I would like you to go get something that you like to play with. That's number one. You're going to go get something in your home that you like to play with. It could be a doll, it could be a stuffed animal, it could be a toy soldier, it could be anything that you like to play with. That's the first thing. The second thing you're going to get is something that you may co cuddle up with and be relaxed with. That could be a book, that could be a favorite pillow, or a blanket, or maybe something else such as um, a fuzzy, just a fuzzy creature. It could be also another stuffed animal. So I'd like you, again, to focus on a toy or something that you like to play with, blocks, a toy soldier, and then something that you might cuddle up with at night before bed, a book, a blanket, something really fuzzy and cuddly. Very, very nice. So pause this video and go take a few minutes to go get that and then come back and we'll start our activity. Welcome back to the next part of this video. So now if you've listened to all of the directions, hopefully you have found something that you like to play with and something that you like to relax with. And what I'd like you to do, boys and girls, is find room in the room that you're in and put the toy that you play with or the stuffed animal, the thing that you play with, that thing, put it somewhere on the ground. And then I'd like you to take the thing that you relax with, maybe it's a pillow or a blanket or something fuzzy, and put that on the other side of the room. So if you're looking at the room, one side should be where you have your toy or your thing to play with, just sitting down on the floor gently. Very good. And then on the next side, we're going to have the thing that we relax with, such as our pillow or a blanket or something cozy and cuddly. Both are on the floor. So if you look over here, one item, here, another item. Very good. So if you stay here in the center between those two items, you're in the perfect spot. So boys and girls, what we're going to do now is something that we need our ears and our eyes for. So I really need you to put those thinking caps on and listening right here, put those really, really nice listening skills to use. I know you have them. And I'm going to say something. I'm going to say a sentence out loud. And if you think that you might do this more during a play time, which is where your toy is, you will walk over there like this. Very good. And if it's if I say something that makes you think of oh, when you may want to relax and go to bed, maybe it's a little bit more quiet, you will walk over here where your pillow or soft object is like this. Very good. So I will stay here and just listen and walk to the one side of the room that you think is more fun and energetic or a little bit more sleepy. <sighs> okay, so for the first one, let's go with, I like to jump rope outside. I like to jump rope outside. So go ahead and walk to the spot where you think it's more of a playful, more fun, or maybe something you like to do when you're really sleepy. Very good. So I would have chosen playful because it uses our energy up and that's something that I would like to do outside. And I'm probably very, 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 very energetic. Very good. So come on back to the center right here. Again, I'm not moving just so you guys can see me. Very nice. Our next statement is going to be, I like to cuddle. I like to cuddle. And go ahead and move to either the playful side where your toy is or the side where your more fluffy item is. Very good, come on back. So which one did you choose? The more playful, energetic side or the more relaxed side? I would have chosen the more relaxed side. When I am sleepy and relaxing, I may like to cuddle up, right? Cuddling up with myself or a family member or my blankets. Very good. We're going to do two more boys and girls. So come on back, come on back. Let's do, I, 
I like to play with my friends. I like to play with my friends. So go ahead, boys and girls, and move to either the playful or the more relaxed side. Very good work. So I would have chosen the more playful side by my toy, right? Very nice job. And our last one of the day, boys and girls, come on back, shake it off. We have our playful side and our more relaxed side. We see our two objects right over here. Very nice. Our last one of the day is going to be, I like to listen to a lullaby before I go to bed. I like to listen to a lullaby before I go to bed. Is that playful? Is it relaxing? You tell me. Very good job, boys and girls. So come on back. For I like to listen to a lullaby, I would have chosen the more relaxing side. Music is really nice because it can either make you feel really, really energetic or it can put you <sighs> into a nice relaxed mood before you go to bed, right? So boys and girls, just to sum up what we did, we split the room in two parts, a very playful part and a very relaxed part of the room. And we moved to either side to figure out which was more playful and which was more relaxed. Just like Biscuit does, right? Because right before he goes to bed, he wants to play, but eventually he does want to relax. And it's fun to figure out ways in which we can have both. It's just as important to play, but as, as it's just as important to relax. All right, boys and girls, we are at the end of our biscuit video. But before we leave today, I would like to include something. So we begun our activity and our video with doing a reading of the story of Biscuit about a very playful puppy who just has too much energy to, energy to go to bed, which I think is very relatable for all of us, right? We get very excited. Then we moved on to our guided activity, which was finding a, in our room two spaces using a toy we like to play with and something that we relax with, like a pillow or a blanket or something fuzzy. And we walk to either side of those spaces when we agreed on an activity. And we learned that being playful is just as important as being restful. That being having energy and also being able to rest are both equally as important. So we have energy for the next day and we can play then. So before we leave boys and girls, I am excited to attach another worksheet for you and your family to work on. So after you watch this video, you can click over to the worksheet, which will guide you through another fun family activity to do together in the spirit of playfulness and restfulness and how we can use that during this time. Because I know a lot of us are very, very playful. I know all of you very well. So we're going to find new ways to go and be playful just like Biscuit was in our story. Again, I would like to thank our PNC sponsor for making these videos possible and allowing me to come into your homes. How cool is that? And the point, boys and girls, as always, of finding new stories and new ways to play is making sure we know that we can take books like Biscuit and Chicken Dance with us everywhere we go and find new ways to create play and discover with each other. Boys and girls and my families at home that I'm talking to, I hope you are staying safe, healthy and well, and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye.